What's up, everybody? I just want to play this real fast. Enjoy this. <laughs> start the season off for my Alabama Crimson Tide. Um, I've been making videos. Uh, Don V sort of brought me out and started making, you know, I had to respond to his videos. So from now on, I'm going to make videos. I'm going to be a YouTuber, I guess. TTC, whatever. I'll be and I'll, I'll, I'll do all the trash talking, whatever. If we don't have much trash talking to do, this coming up week we play FIU. Unless uh, fight breaks out like they did against Miami a couple years ago. I hope none of that happens. But anyways, the game, uh, that was an excellent game. Virginia Tech, good defense. Uh, if they can get their offensive rolling, uh, which I think they will, um, they're going to be a good team. I, I made a statement not too long ago about Georgia Tech winning that conference. It's going to come down between Georgia Tech and uh, Virginia Tech. I think uh, they showed me enough on their defense to know that they're going to compete in that conference, and uh, I think it's going to come down to them two teams. But as far as Alabama, we had a good game. Uh, our defense really, really played good. Our offense uh, struggled at the beginning. I think we got better at, at time as Greg McElroy settled down. Uh, I think he was a little nervous at the beginning of the game, but as far as the overall game, I think Greg McElroy did a very good job for his first start. Uh, Mark Barron, another uh, first start, free safety. I think he did a good job. He made a couple big hits. Um, but as far as our defense, I can't say enough not enough about it. I think that uh, our expectations going into this season was our defense was going to be very good, and I think they uh, showed the and the whole country that uh, you know that that's going to be the case this year. Is our defense is going to be as strong as it was last year. Um, as far as our receivers, we had some big receivers uh, step up, you know, outside of Julio. I think Julio had a good game. He made a couple of drops, but, you know, he'll get that corrected. And Julio didn't drop many passes last year, so, you know, he's going to have a big year. But as far as receivers that stepped up, I think Darius Hanks made a couple of big catches. I expect big things out of Darius Hanks. I think he's got probably one of the best, some of the best, uh, he's one of the best hands. Like, he's got good hands as a wide receiver. Marquise Mays has that good speed. He made a couple of big catches. Um, the Wildcat formation I've been getting on Alabama sites, and a lot of people have been, you know, dissing the Wildcat formation, but I don't think it was necessarily a bad thing to bring that out. First of the year, Greg McElroy's first start, it was good to, uh, you know, sort of settle in the game. Um, and I don't expect that to be something – huge, huge this year that we run. I believe it was just Greg McElroy's first game. It was a uh, sort of settle in the game and, and uh, also uh, take some pressure off of him, which uh, as soon as I feel like the pressure got off of him, I feel like he, he showed the skills, like what type of quarterback he can be. Uh, Mark Ingram, I can't say enough about his performance. I mean, I've been hearing nothing but good things about him, and a lot of people have been questioning him. I've been watching reports and stuff, and all these reports have been, how's the freshman doing? How's the freshman looking? How's Trent Richardson doing? But I'm glad he came out and showed what he's what he can do. You know, Trent Richardson's going to be good. He's going to give him time. He's going to be good. Uh, he had a sprained shoulder, probably missed a couple practices, was a little late coming, um, coming back to uh, – to uh, coming back and practicing, he probably missed a couple of practices. Uh, for, I feel like his experience level is going to be up uh, later on in the. I think these two next games, F I U and uh, North Te Northern North Texas, I believe those two games are going to give Trent Richardson some experience too. You're going to see him more. 
I thought Roy Upchurch did a good job when he came in, fresh legs. Uh, he didn't just get tackled. He went after the tackler to tackle him. I mean, he was knocking the shit out of people when they were coming up trying to tackle him. I like that. Um, but as far as the game goes, Virginia Tech, y'all did a very good job. Don V, it's been fun. Uh, I'm going to keep in touch with you. I'm going to keep up with you, Virginia Tech Hokies. Because uh, it's not really hate there, you know. It's not a rival game. It's not really any hate there. Uh, I, I hope y'all, I hope Virginia Tech wins out. Uh, y'all got a good team. I uh, hate it that Boone didn't get to really show what he's capable of doing as the injury. Um, but you do got to say that Tyrod Taylor was a little sh shooken up. I mean, he was he didn't know whether to scramble or not. I don't think he wanted to scramble. Um, we got good uh, push up front by our defensive by our defensive line to sort of make it where he was uncomfortable. Uh, but as far as the game, overall game, if I told you that I wasn't a little nervous in between that, I, I did get a little nervous 17-16 at halftime. I think a lot of things could have gone, you know, a different way, and the, and the score could have actually been, we could have actually, the score could have look, looked a whole lot better for Alabama. But a win's a win, and um, i got to give it up to the Virginia Tech Hokies defense. Um, Y'all do need some receivers. Uh, that freshman running back is going to be something special for y'all. He's going to be very good. He got some speed, and um, you can tell uh, he plays with a lot of aggressiveness, and he's a very intense player. I mean, he's he's going to be a very good player. But as far as Alabama, this is a good way to start the season. Got a lot of momentum, uh, and uh, expect big things out of Greg McElroy. He's going to be, uh, he's going to get better and better with time. Um, I watched the Ole Miss game versus Memphis. They looked like they struggled a little bit at the beginning, but then they clicked over in the fourth quarter. Uh, LSU was very, very surprising. I'm just surprised Washington hung in with them like that. Uh, Georgia, y'all went in there, and y'all are very young this year. Uh, I think y'all will get better as the year goes along. Um, you know, his quarterbacks has got, you know, he's experienced. He's trying to get experience too. So I think uh, as time goes on, he'll get better. And I think uh, the overall SEC, how everybody played in the SEC, I think everybody represented the SEC good. Um, you know, but I mean, the loss with Oklahoma State and Georgia, I mean, they still played tough. Uh, it was, you know, I was rooting for the SEC team. I'm going to root for the SEC team. Um, you know, even when Auburn's playing La Tech, I mean, I'm, I just, I don't, I don't root against the SEC unless, uh, that SEC team's playing Alabama. If they're playing non-conference, I'm going for SEC. But, um, overall, SEC week, weekend was great. Uh, we got, I think we're going to have a big, big year. I think this is the start of something big. I think Nick Saban was pleased with his players' performance and uh, how they came out and executed. Um, it's going to be a very good season, and I'm pretty sure uh, it's going to be a dogfight, but I'm pretty sure at the end of the season we will see you Florida Gators again. Uh, we'll see you Tim Tebow. We'll see all y'all's 11 starters back. I think the Charleston Southern, y'all scheduling them. I understand that y'all scheduled them way before this, but that was ridiculous how y'all beat them and sort of feel sorry for a team having to come in and play like that. Uh, but anyways, as far as the Virginia Tech game, Don V, your Virginia Tech Hokies, you know, I think they earned a lot of Alabama's respect as far as defensive-wise. Uh, y'all's defense, you know, could hang in the SEC, uh, but y'all's offense, y'all got some work to do with that. But I'm sure Law Tide... Biggie and Bama and uh, God, I can't remember his name. Never. He sends me comments. Uh, he made a couple of comments to Don V. He made a video to Don V. But shout out to you too. Uh, but it's good that it's it's a uh, good time to be a Bama fan. And you watch all you Bama fans. Y'all just get prepared because Alabama's gonna roll again this year. We might go undefeated again in the regular season. Roll Tide.